Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Zhang. I'm the oncologist, hematologist coming from Illinois Cancer Care. Um, mainly I'm working in Peoria, but I come into this community and serve our people here. Uh, here actually is my second home. So um, talking about cancer, uh, which is, is a serious disease that people are usually scared. Now today we're going to address uh, three uh, most important topics and which two topics is my favorite. One is we're going to talk about the cancer and the genes. People asking me the question uh, when they are diagnosed with cancer is why, doctor, why do I have the cancer? So I'm a good, I'm a good guy, I'm a good people, why I get the cancer? So that question is very interesting because usually we do not easily get a cancer until the gene is mutated or gene changed. So what is gene? A gene actually is a, a piece of DNA that in our chromosome, we totally have like 25,000 genes and that's located in our 46 chromosomes. So the 46 chromosomes, the 23 of them from mom and 23 of identical gene from dad. So when the gene changed, it it's a protein that's coded by gene also changes. That protein potentially can do harm to our body, therefore cause cancers. So um, that's why it's so important to talk about gene tests in cancer patients. So genetic counseling is very important for certain uh, diseases. For example, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, colorectal cancer. So um, if anyone who have a family history of cancers, a different cancer, especially if patient who has a cancer that before 50 year old in the young age. So that is the, someone that really need to be tested. Uh, the genetic testing not just help us to understand why you get cancer, but also help us to uh, give the patient a, a, a lot of more informed information about the cancer and help not just protect the patient, also actually protect the family. So uh, by screening, if we can identify a gene, that gene can be used as a treatment target. Also, that gene also can be uh, passed to the next generation. So that's why what I said is, is the genetic testing not just help you, also help your family. So in Illinois Cancer Care, we do have a genetic testing service. So uh, what do we do if a patient who is a candidate who has high risk of cancer based on family history, we refer the patient to our genetic cancer team, they're going to get uh, extensive information from your family trees, then based on that, they tell you what the screening procedure is going to do. And we take care of everything, and that can be done remote uh, uh, through the virtual meeting right now. You don't have to go to travel to Peoria, so it just, uh, uh, we can get everything done by Zoom. So um, if the patient has a genetic mutation, that's not only uh, for the screening purpose, also can uh, help to prevent uh, uh, um, the cancer development. For example, if you have a BRAC1 mutation or BRAC2 mutation in the breast cancer, uh, you need bilateral mastectomy because these two gene mutation not just increase of the breast cancer also uh, by 100% but also can increase the risk of ovarian cancer. Most time the patient get bilateral ovary removed, we call it ophorectomy. Uh, the, the purpose of that is to decrease the development of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. So um, I saw the flyer said Dr. Zhang medical oncologist, Dr. Burjaj, medical oncologist. They miss really a, piece, a big piece of our uh, specialty. We are not just hem oncologists, we actually is hematologists as well. We have three licenses. We have an oncologist, hematology, and internist. So we, we, are, we, we deal different stuffs. So uh, people asking, what is hematology? What do we do? routinely for hematology. So hematology is basically the blood disorder. We uh, not just treat the patient who has uh, um, leukemia, lymphoma, 
uh, multi-myeloma. Uh, uh, so those kind of hematological malignancy, but I also treat the benign hematology. So so many times the patient comes to the clinic and say, hey, Dr. Zhang, why do I come to the cancer center? Do I have a cancer? How you tell them, don't worry about it. Not everyone come to my clinic. Not everyone come to the cancer center for cancer. So we do treat some benign hematology, for example, blood clots. You get blood clots, you get a bleeding problem, and people have a high white cell count or low white cell count, low platelet, uh, anemia. People who have uh, red blood cells too high get blood clots. So some people come to the clinic and say, hey, doctor, um, I have the restless leg syndrome and because my eye is low. So that's why my doctor is into, to, to you. So yeah, that's right, people who have a extremely low ferritin, low iron, they can cause restless leg syndrome. What do we do? We keep IV iron and fix right away. So that's what we do. So please, if you have a hematological problem uh, and you, you have uh, nose bleeding, bleeding easily, you get blood clot, and, or you get uh, people say your cell count too high or too low, uh, your iron too high or too low, those is the diseases we are dealing with in our clinic. So if you have a question about your hematology problem, like you have a nose bleeding, you have blood clots, or you have a, a cell count too high or too low, including white blood cell, red blood cell, plate count, or you have an even high iron, please come to KSB Town Square Center. We, have, we are in the second floor, we have brand new clinic, and the team is excellent, you can like them. So you do not have to travel to Peoria. We bring the standard, the most advanced medicine to the community. I come to you. So please come to here to visit us. Thank you so much. So next we're gonna talk about our, uh, my favorite topic and about immunotherapy. So what is an immunotherapy? So treat, cancer treatment has changed a lot in the past 10 or 11 years. So not just uh, toxic chemotherapy, not just uh, surgery or radiation therapy. Now, cancer patients can be treated with immunotherapy and target therapy. So that's a big topic, but we're going to focus on the immunotherapy today. So uh, in order to understand how immunotherapy works, we're going to talk about how our immune system works, how our immune system protects us. So in general, immune system is made of white blood cells and organs, tissues of the lymphatic system, for example, the liver and the, the spleen, the lymph nodes, those are all part of the immune system. So if you have an infection, if you have a, a cancer, our immune system is supposed to and make antibody or, or make the cell active, the T cell activate, activated, therefore those immune cells catch the cancers or catch the pathogen like bacterial virus and clean them out. Then we back to healthy again. So that's how the immunotherapy, uh, immuno system works. Now, we talk about gene. Our gene not always right. Nobody is perfect. No gene is perfect. So when the gene changes, the cell changes, the cell growing and became under control. So the overgrowth therefore cause cancer. So in young age, because our immune system is so strong, the immune system can catch that changed cells or damaged cells and clean them out. If they cannot clean them out, what they're going to do, the, our system is going to turn it into a normal cells. So, uh, but if our immune system gets weaker, for example, we get older, and that's how the cancer cell escape from the immune system. That's why the cancer cell grows. So um, what we do, uh, the idea is if we can make our immune system stronger, and therefore that immune system, our immune function, can catch the cancer cell. So whatever reason, when our normal cells have a mutated gene, I mean a gene has, is damaged by uh, whatever reason, either by the um, inherited uh, disease or causing uh, gene damage or by the environment factors that cause gene damage. So those damaged cells can be changed or switched into a normal cell by our system. 
if our immune system cannot do that, what's going to happen? The immune system is going to clean it out. So that's how our immune system protects us from getting a disease. Now, when we get older, our immune system gets weaker. So some cells, or the cells that already turns into a cancer, cannot be cleaned out, cannot be changed, cannot be switched into a normal cell. Therefore, we get cancer. So the idea of immunotherapy is using either genetic method or using medication is to make our cancer cells or, or our immune system stronger, therefore it can kill the cancer. So um, it's damaged and became a cancer cell. So it, our immune system either turns into a normal cell or cleaned out by our immune system. So um, the idea is how can we make our immune system stronger or make our T cell more powerful against the cancer or helping us to clean out the cancer cells. So there are a couple of things that we can do. Uh, number one is they called check and checkpoint inhibitor. That's a well-known, well-studied in cancer treatment. It's widely used for almost all the cancers. So uh, the checkpoint inhibitor, there are two medications right now, everyone knows this. Uh, one called Ketuda, uh, one is called uh, uh, Obdivo. So you can see in the TV, in the, in the ad, in the news, everywhere. So what they does is these two medication, of course we have other medication too, it can active your T cells, make your T cell more powerful in order to recognize the cancer cells, therefore kill the cancer cells. Uh, talking, about the, talking about the immunotherapy, uh, there's a lot of strategies helping us to uh, uh, activate the T cells or even B cells making a mono, a monoclonal antibody. So um, there's a one strategy to uh, uh, boost our immunofunction is checkpoint inhibitor. So checkpoint is a, a, a negative pathway uh, to uh, slow down the T cell activation. And T cell can be activated by uh, activation pathway. So that's a balanced. Um, the well-known checkpoint what uh, we have uh, in the market and have been used to treat different types of cancer is Ketuda and uh, Obdivo. So these two medications works very well in, in a variety of the cancers, but not for everyone. Um, so immunotherapy, the beauty of immunotherapy is causing, it can bring a durable response, meaning if you're lucky, your response to the uh, um, uh, immunotherapy, that treatment effect is lasting pretty long. For example, for lung cancer. Lung cancer patient, since we started immunotherapy, patient who had a good response to immunotherapy, they can live much longer than chemotherapy alone. So stage four lung cancer, uh, usually without treatment, it's just a life expectancy only like four to six months. So with immunotherapy, the five years survival up to 14%. Uh, and, but with chemotherapy, only 2.6% uh, or less than 3% people can live five years. So that's a huge difference. And another uh, um, advantage of immunotherapy is a side effect. So the side effect is much less than, uh, much less than chemo. So people did not have uh, the side effect like people get uh, hair loss, uh, severe now they are vomiting, uh, people get uh, uh, low cell count, infection, bleeding in the hospital, some people even die from chemo in the older day, not, not, not right now. So immunotherapy does not have this side effect, but it's not benign. It does cause side effect. So what are, side effect, what are the side effects from immunotherapy? Uh, basically, uh, it, if you know how immunotherapy works, and you will know the side effect. So as I said, immunotherapy is through the activation of your immune system, like especially T cells. Uh, when your immune system is activated, what does it cause? It can cause a term called autoimmune disease. Okay? So what do you have people get if, if this happened in the colon 
called colitis. It happened in the lung called the pneumonitis. You see, the itis, I-T-I-S, is called the inflammation. If this causing a problem in the kidney, it's called the nephritis. If it's causing the uh, uh, disease in the thyroid, it's called hypothyroidism because of thyroiditis. So I, when, I, when I teach the medical school student, I tell them, okay, remember this. Immunosity causes itis, okay? So that's how you remember. But it really is well tolerated and the risk is low. For example, the, the pneumonitis is only less than 3%. And it happened for people who is smoker, who had uh, other disease. But in the same token, if patient already has autoimmune disease, for example, has lupus, has a psoriasis, has uh, um, rheumatoid arthritis, that immunotherapy can flare it up, make it worse. Okay? So that's why people who have autoimmune disease, uh, you have to be very careful to give immunotherapy. Sometimes you, you can't give immunotherapy. Okay? So that's about immunotherapy. So what immunotherapy give besides its uh, uh, checkpoint inhibitor, others you can do called T cell transfer, well known called CAR T, C A R T. So that is the, works very well for patients who have hematological malig malignancy, for example, uh, ALL, uh, uh, leukemia. So it works so well. Uh, it works in multimyeloma. Um, also, another strategy is using monoclonal antibody, that's the antibody to kill the cancer. There's a specific target therapy, for example, the we want to call the CD20 monoclonal antibody for B cell lymphoma, like rituximab. And HER2, HER2 target agents, for example, the Herceptin or Progeta, that's specific to kill the cancer patient or the breast cancer patient who have HER2 overexpression. It works so well and very specific and less toxic. Um, another thing you can do in terms of immunotherapy is uh, uh, immunomodulator. Uh, so that medication is a pill can be used or has been used to treat the patient who has multi-myeloma. Also works great. Um, so uh, cancer vaccine is, is the last one we are trying to. We have been studying for four years. Okay, at least have one medication is approved to treat people who have mel melanoma. The idea is is they using the viral. The, the viral, uh, the, the viral usually kill the cancer, uh, causing disease. But in, in the uh, they they genetically modify this viral gene, uh, uh, in, incorporate integrate uh, 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 other genes, uh, inject into the melanoma uh, uh, cells in the, in the skin skin cancer. That really can analyze the cancers. They call oncolytic therapy or oncolytic viral therapy. So that also works very well and approved by FDA, but only for, uh, for of melanoma, the skin cancer. Okay? Um, so there's a lot of change in cancer therapy, and immunotherapy is always is my favorite topic. Okay? If someday we can make the cancer a chronic disease, that's going to be immunotherapy. Okay? Because immunotherapy is again is a natural killing of the cancer, have a less side effect, works very well. That can be given in our clinic in Dixon in the uh, Town Square Center and KIP Town Square Center. Okay? So um, so if you have questions, if I'm interested in immunotherapy and uh, come into my office, I'm more than happy to give you information and discuss with you. Okay? All right.